praise the Lord. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am Ameta. I wanted to spend a little time with you this morning, just before Thanksgiving Day, to let you know I care and God cares. He cares about you uniquely. He is awesome and mighty. He is our present help in times of trouble. Just as each of us has one body, body, and many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, from one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We cannot be without God and Jesus. Jesus said that he was the branch. He was the vine and we were the branches. And so I want to share this morning, he cares about you uniquely. Each of us has a function. We didn't operate like one another because we aren't fashioned that way. We often, excuse me, we often don't agree with priorities. Beyond dwelling in Christ and living in love because we are each made to carry different aspects of God's glory. Amen. We carry God's glory. Amen. So often we read this verse as an adoration to play nicely with people of other denominations. Amen. That's not it. Though it's a glorification of our wondrously created God and an encouragement, each take our gifts allowing others to do the same. We like Chinese food. We like Italian food. Amen. We like sauerkraut on top of hot dogs. Those are distinctively other cultures' foods, and we like them, so we don't demonstrate. We don't go against them. We love those things. When we finally embrace our independence, we honor each other and operate in unity. We embrace who we are in Christ and let go of what we are not. To have the liberty to do is an aspect of what it is to be truly free in Christ and operate in freedom. Amen. Amen. My husband likes his rice with gravy on it. I was brought up eating it with butter and sugar. Amen. He likes mayonnaise mixed with ketchup for his french fries. And I like mine plain. We enjoy each other's different desires when it comes to food. God, we just thank and praise you. Father, thank you for the intricate care you used in making us. Help us to recognize what gifts within us are actually not universal values for everyone else, but are your unique signature of grace upon our lives. We love you, Lord God. We exalt you. We thank you for Thanksgiving tomorrow. I pray, God, that as we come together with our families or come together with our friends or we are just by ourselves celebrating Thanksgiving, God, we give you praise. We are giving you thanks for all that you have done and created in us to be for others and we thank you to know that today that i was not created just for me but i was created for other people and we give you i give you praise for that in jesus precious name god loves you god loves you god loves you 
Sometimes I ask God, what shall I tell them? And in my heart, I hear, tell them I love them. God loves you. Amen. And because he loves you, I love you too. Amen. Amen. Be blessed today and enjoy tomorrow. Make sure you give God all the thanks you can give him on tomorrow. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And Lord willing, I will see you next Tuesday. Amen.